By the end of this video, you'll learn how to make the Hypno Shader work with your avatar. First off, import the compatibility tester package. Next, go to Value Factory, Hypno Eyes 3 compatibility tester, and find this material right here. To see if there's a preset available for your avatar, go ahead and navigate to the presets tab right here, and try to find your avatar here. We're using the VV Mano Kit, so we'll be looking for that. As you can see, it exists. Let's click on that, and look at the instructions that it says to follow. So we have to put this preset on the eye material slot instead of the eye specular slot, which is material slot two. Let's go into our body. This is material slot two. Let's drag this compatibility tester material onto slot two and take a look at the eyes. And as you can see, this is how it should look if it's properly configured. There's an up arrow pointing up, right arrow pointing right on both eyes. And it looks like there's a pupil and there are peripheral little lines here moving inward. That's good. So if there's a preset like this, the Hypnoizer is going to work for your avatar out of the box, and you can use that preset. If you don't have a preset, you can go ahead and try using the Screen Space and Focus DLCs. Here's how they look. For example, here I have the focus set up on the paws, so it just kind of shows up. We also have a focus on the hand. Then we also have the Screen Space mask, which kind of fades in into a Screen Space effect that we can just see. And of course, this mask is something we can place down in the world and place down on people's heads as well. This option for a cover here, use the stencils to cover the whole avatar in this hypno effect. Again, this is using the focus. And again, none of these options, the screen space, the mask, the, the focus, they don't need any kind of preset setup. They're pretty much ready for you to use out of the box. And the stencil setups will need a little bit of a setup, but you can just essentially follow a tutorial and have to set these up available in the description as well. They're pretty much designed to work with 99% of avatars with no setup. We have prefabs available for them as well, and you just need to drag them on onto your avatar. A bunch of tutorials as well are available for these as well. If you do want to use Hypno Eyes like this on your avatar on your eyes, there are other options you can follow. For example, you can go ahead and try to make your own preset. We have a video on how to do that available in the description, and also a bunch of documentation here on how to do that, documenting the whole process. If you are having trouble following this, go ahead and follow the video in the description. Another option is using contact meshes. Contact meshes are essentially a way of adding a little sphere onto your eyes and putting the uh, hypno material on those contacts. You can use the generic contact mesh method or a custom contact mesh method. The generic one requires you to essentially take one of these existing contact meshes here and just put it onto the eye and position it in such a way so that it doesn't clip with the eye. Though, however, it won't work with eye tracking. If you do want it to work with eye tracking and you have a more complicated eye setup maybe as well, like something like concave eyes on a kimono style avatar, what you're gonna wanna do instead is create your own contact mesh. But this will require going into Blender and selecting eyes and duplicating them and doing all that stuff. We do have tutorial videos available for both of them available in the description. By using one of these methods, you will be able to put the hypno shader on your avatar in some form. The simplest ones are just using the preset and using the screen space and focus DLCs. If you want to put in a little bit more work, you can go ahead and try to make your own preset or use the contact mesh method. Again, all the tutorials for how to use these are available in the description. Have fun!